for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you a uh, complete difference between the aac blocks as well as the red brick blocks okay nowadays most of the people are using aac blocks in the construction of the walls over the red brick blocks okay so then uh, i will explain you complete uh, details about why the people are using nowadays aac blocks rather than red brick blocks okay so basically aac stands for autoclaved aerated concrete blocks so these blocks are available in the market which is having the sizes approximately 600 mm cross 250 mm cross 150 mm dimensions okay so again this respected blocks is consisting of the composition of the materials like fly ash cement lime and aluminium powder okay so these respected four materials are the basic composition in the aac blocks okay so the second one is related to the red brick blocks basically the composition of the red brick blocks is consisting of silica aluminium iron oxide magnesia lime and organic matter okay so again the size of the red brick block will be standard having the size is 190 mm cross 90 mm cross and 90 mm size okay so basically in aac blocks due to the presence of this respected four materials like uh, fly ash cement lime and aluminium powder the weight of the uh, respected block will be reduces okay so due to that reason the density of the material also decreases okay so basically the density of the aac blocks will be comes under 651 kg per meter cube to 750 kg per meter cube value again the red brick block will be consisting of approximately the density value is 1600 kg per meter cube to 1700 kg per meter cube values okay so these are the density values comparison between the two brick blocks okay so due to the amount of the less amount of the density value for the respected aac blocks over the red brick blocks okay it is having the less amount of the weight for the respected aac blocks than red brick block right so due to the presence of that respected reason uh, the lightweight concrete will be developed in aac blocks concrete structures okay so now i will explain you the complete differences between the aac block uh, brick work construction as well as the red brick block uh, construction process so that you can able to understand what are the different points that we have to consider for the uh, best wall construction process okay so in that first one is related to the uh, aac blocks is lightweight okay so basically due to the amount of the less amount of the density value which is provided for the respected 600 mm cross 250 mm cross 150 mm dimensions of the aac blocks it will develop the less amount of the weight due to that reason the light weight will be developed for the respected aac blocks okay so again for the respected red, red brick block it is having the weight is more than aac blocks it is also having the less amount of the weight but it is more than light weight brick block okay so basically the second one factor is it will reduce the dead load of the structure okay again the red brick block will be consisting of high amount of the dead load value for the structure so basically the dead load will be comes under the gravity loading condition system in that respect the loading will be comes under the uh, structure own weight and uh, floor weights and etc okay so in the structure own weights due to the presence of the high amount of the density of the material the weight on the floor will be increases okay due to that reason also there will be a lot of the cracks which is developed for the respective structures in the walls okay to decrease that respected reason we need to develop the lightweight concrete so this is also one of the most advantage technology aac blocks nowadays most of the people using for the uh, construction of the walls this is the main reason okay so that that is the reduce the dead load wall on the wall of the structure so it is having red brick block is having high amount of the dead load on the wall okay so the third one is due to the presence of the less amount of the density value and due to the presence of the composition of this respected four materials the uh, red, uh, ac blocks will be immersed in water okay basically if you uh, put the ac blocks on the water tub so that it will be not be immersed in that particular Uh, respected water okay so basically red brick block will be we know that due to the presence of the high amount of the weight of the red brick block it will be directly immersed in water but aac block will not be immersed it will float on the water this is the main advantage for the aac blocks and the third uh, and the fourth one is the labor cost as well as the 
cement motor cost will be less for the ac blocks than red brick block okay the labor and cement cost will be more for the respective red brick block okay why because the red brick block will be available in the standard sizes of 190 cross 90 cross 90 which is having high amount of the density values again for the respected uh, ac blocks it is having the dimensions is approximately 600 cross 250 cross 150 okay so it will take more amount of the cement motor and it will take more amount of the labor work for uh, execution of the wall okay this is the main disadvantage of red brick block over the ac blocks okay so next point is related to the cost of the construction of the red brick block okay so if you want to construct a wall which is consisting of 10 feet cross 10 feet wall it is required approximately okay 400 rupees labor cost okay it will be consisting of approximately 400 rupees labor cost for the construction of the 10 feet cross 10 feet uh, AAC blocks wall again in the same process for the red brick block it is required approximately 1400 rupees for the construction of the 10 feet cross 10 feet same wall so from this point we can easily conclude that by using the AAC blocks we can reduce the weight of the structure we can reduce the load of the structure we can uh, reduce the labor cost and we can reduce the project cost also this is the main advantage of AAC blocks over uh, red brick block okay and the next one is it will not allow the water uh, absorption more than 10 percentage for the respected AAC block okay and for the red brick block it will not allow the water absorption capacity more than the 20 percentage so that the 10 percentage difference will be there in between this ac block as well as the red brick block okay this is the uh, sixth comparison and the seventh one is related to the compressive strength value this is the important one okay why because most of the people will be concentrate on the strength characteristics which is related to the compressive strength value only okay for the one block of the 600 cross 250 cross 150 mm uh, AAC block it will be consisting of the compressive strength is 5 Newton per mm square value okay again for the respected 190 cross 90 cross 90 brick work it is having the compressive strength is approximately 3.5 Newton per mm square value so here the compressive strength of the uh, AAC block is also more when you compare with uh, red brick block this is also main advantage nowadays due to the this reason also nowadays most of the people are focusing on the AAC blocks construction process okay and the next one is related to the fire resistance this is the safety factor we need to consider okay if any kind of the fire accident will be occur in your respected building structure so it will resist up to four hours in the AAC construction wall again in the same process for the red brick block it will be resist the fire up to two hours this is the main advantage of the safety factor and the last one is related to the uh, usage of this respected blocks okay so basically AAC blocks will be used in the commercial structures or apartment structure or high-rise building structure due to the decreasing of your respected dead load on the structure and due to the re reducing the project cost due to the main advantage in the construction process okay again the red brick block will be used in the general construction process like ground store building G plus 1 G plus 2 G plus 3 structural model where the red brick block is uh, not uh, suitable for the construction process okay so basically AC blocks can be used in the lightweight concrete development where the shear strength of the soil is less okay so this will be more preferable for the AC blocks over the red brick block okay due to this various advantages of the AC blocks over the red brick blocks nowadays most of the people are focusing on the AC blocks construction process okay so this is the complete process of uh, what are the different types of the blocks uh, bricks we are using in the uh, construction of the building structure walls and the complete difference between the red brick block as well as the AAC blocks for the uh, wall construction process. So these are the main uh, nine key points which is related to the comparison of the AAC blocks as well as the red brick blocks. Okay, due to the presence of the less amount of the density, the red brick block will be uh, eliminated from the upcoming days of the construction process over the AAC blocks. Okay, so if you have any queries about this respected video, please try to text me your questions in the below comment box. I will try to give the answer for the respected questions and I was updated this respected complete concepts in my blog civilbasics123.com. You can watch the complete details in my blog civilbasics123.com. Thank you.